So in this video, I'm going to calculate the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of the natural log of 1 plus the tangent of x. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do, and re the reason why I'm doing this will become clear later, I'm going to call this integral i. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the substitution x equals pi over 4 minus y. Let's write it a bit clearer, minus y. And if I differentiate both sides, that is going to give me dx is equal to 0 minus the derivative of y with respect to y, which is just minus 1. So I'm going to have minus dy. OK, and if I plug that into my integral, that's going to give me uh, this thing is equal to the integral of what? Well, when x is equal to 0, I'm going to have 0 equals pi over 4 minus y. And that equation is satisfied when y is equal to pi over 4. And for the upper limit, when x is equal to pi over 4, I've got pi over 4 equals pi over 4 minus y. And that's satisfied when y is equal to 0. So I'm integrating from pi over 4 to 0 now. And now I've got the natural log of 1 plus the tangent of x. But x in this case is just pi over 4 minus y. So it's the tangent of pi over 4 minus y. Now here is dx, but dx is of course just equal to negative dy. So I'm going to have a dy here and I'm going to put the negative sign over here. Now if I swap the limits of integration, that introduces an extra negative sign. So that's going to give me minus minus the integral from 0 to pi over 4, because if I swap the lower and upper limits of integration, that introduces a negative sign, which cancels out with a negative sign that I've already got. So that's going to give me the natural log of 1 plus the tangent function, tangent function of pi over 4 minus y. Now I want to get rid of this tan, tan pi over 4 minus y, so I'm going to use a trigonometric identity, which says that the tangent of a plus or minus b a plus or minus b is just equal to the tangent of a plus or minus the tangent of b all divided by 1 minus plus the tangent of a times the tangent of b. So in other words, if there's a plus sign here, then this is a plus sign and this is a negative sign. If this is a negative sign, then this is also a negative sign. This is a plus sign. In this case, I've got a equals pi over 4 and b equals y and there's a negative sign so that therefore tells me that the tangent of pi over 4 minus y that's just equal to tangent of a which is tangent of pi over 4 minus the tangent of y because in this case uh, y is taking the role of b all divided by 1 plus, because this sign has got to be the opposite of whatever the sign is inside the argument, of tangent of a times the tangent of b, or the tangent of pi over 4 times the tangent of y. Now I know that the tangent of pi over 4 is equal to 1, so I know that tan of pi over 4, that's just equal to 1 using exact values of the tan function. And you can also show this by using the fact that tan is equal to sine over cos, and sine of pi over 4 and cos of pi over 4 equal the same value, which happens to be root 2 over 2, by the way. So this is just equal to 1. That's equal to 1 minus tan y, all divided by 1 plus, well, tan pi over 4 is 1, so I'm going to have 1 times tan y, which is just tan y. OK, so this is my expression for the tangent of pi over 4 minus y. And so I'm now going to just replace uh, tan of pi over 4 minus y inside my integrand with what I've just found. So that's going to give me the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of the natural log of, let's make this a bit bigger, 1 plus tan of pi over 4 minus y. But tan pi over 4 minus y is this thing. So that's 1 minus tan y over 1 plus tan y. Now I'm going to convert this 1 into a fraction in the following way. I'm going to write it as a fraction whose denominator is 1 plus tan y. So I can write that therefore in the following way. It's equal to the integral from 0 to pi over 4 natural log of 1, which in this case I'm writing as 1 plus tan y, all divided by 1 plus tan y plus 1 minus tan y, this is just the second fraction now, divided by 1 plus 
tan y, and I'm integrating with respect to y. So now I've got two fractions, each of which have the same denominator, 1 plus tan y. So I can just add the numerator together, and that's going to give me the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of the natural log of, the numerator is going to be the sum of the num. Uh, the fraction I'm going to get is going to be the sum of the numerators divided by the common denominator, which in this case is going to be 1 plus tan y plus 1 minus tan y, all divided by whatever the denominator was. The denominator in this case was the same, common to both fractions, which is 1 plus the tangent of y dy. Now, obviously, I'm going to have some some simplification here. Notice that 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, and here I've got plus tan y minus tan y, and the plus tan y minus tan y will give me 0. They'll cancel each other out. So this is going to give me the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of the natural log of, well, I'm going to be left with just 2 in the numerator, and in the denominator, I'm going to have 1 plus tan y. Okay, now I'm going to use a property of logarithms, which basically says that for uh, certain values, let's say, of a and b, the natural log of a and b is equal to the natural log of a um, minus the natural log of b. And obviously there are cases where this doesn't work, for instance, if a or b are equal to zero, or if a over b happens to be a negative number, for instance. Okay, so what am I going to get in this case? That means that my integrand is just equal to the natural log of 2 minus the natural log of 1 plus tan y. So that's going to give me the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of the natural log of 2 minus the natural log of 1 plus tan of y dy. Well, I've got the uh, sum of two integrals here. So let's just write it like this. This is the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of natural log of 2 dy minus the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of natural log of 1 plus tan y dy. But if you notice, I've got the natural log of 1 plus tan y dy here integrated from 0 to pi over 4. But at the start of this video, I started with the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of the natural log of 1 plus tan x dx. But in this case, the variable is immaterial because I can just replace x with y or z or theta or beta or whatever. It's just going to be the same thing. It's going to be equal to i. So I can basically say that this term I've just found, this integral, is just equal to i. So this whole thing is equal to i. And that simplifies matters immensely because I don't need to actually calculate the integral of this thing. I just know that it's equal to um, i, the thing that I want to find. So that tells me that that whole thing is equal to the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of the natural log of 2 dy minus i, my original integral. And natural log of 2 is just a constant function, so an integral of a constant function with respect to y is just that constant function times y. So that's going to give me the natural log of 2 times y evaluated from 0 to pi over 4 minus i. And if I just evaluate this from pi over 4 to uh, between 0 and pi over 4, that's going to give me the natural log of 2 well, y evaluated at pi over 4 is just pi over 4, minus y evaluated at the lower limit, which in this case is just a 0, just replacing y with lower limit, minus i. Well, pi over 4 minus 0 is just pi over 4. So this is going to give me pi over 4 times the natural log of 2. I'm just bringing that constant out in front of the log of 2, just for um, because it looks nice, minus i. So what do I have? Well, on the left-hand side, I had i. And on the right-hand side, I've got this. So I can add i, my integral, to both sides. And that's going to give me 2i is equal to pi over 4 times the natural log of 2. And if I divide both sides by 2, I'm just going to get that i is equal to pi over 8 times the natural log of 2. And just for clarification, i was equal to my original integral. So that therefore tells me that that's equal to, well, that tells me that the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of the natural log of 1 plus the tangent of x dx is just equal to pi over 8 times the natural log of 2. And I like this, this example because we didn't actually have to calculate this integral in particular. We just did some nice little manipulations and we found out that we could actually take i equal to something 
plus i or minus i in this case and just rearrange in order to find the original value of the integral without doing the integral per se okay so that's all we've got time for today thanks for watching if you like this video please leave a like comment and subscribe for more content just like this thanks